Hi, my name is Daniel Connard and this is a new video tutorial on the Edge Commons extension library as part of our Edge Animate Online Week. Make sure to also check out edgedocs.com for more videos. Today I will show you how you can use the composition loader to dynamically load animate compositions into your projects. So here's how it works. I'd like to introduce you to one of our Edge Commons features which is called the composition loader and it enables you to load third-party compositions into your Edge Animate project. So it might be quite handy in terms of workflow improvement to have somebody else do some animations or whatever and to load them into your project. So uh, we've got the sprite sheet animation done before, probably you've seen it in one of our recent episodes and the template episode as well included here. So these are basically animations that will start when I hit the button and um, they are done by somebody else in different projects and they are running in this confined area which is the content symbol. Um, I'll show you now the compositions that I uh, loaded into it. It's this Edge Commons HTML and the Welcome HTML. Um, they're just basic Edge Animate projects and I don't have to do anything with them. Um, I just load them into my project. So starting a new project with uh, properties width and height 900 by 700 pixels. I uh, use some background image that I designed in Photoshop before. Um, it also it's, it already has the area for the uh, compositions to be loaded into, and of course uh, some of our characters. If you uh, if you want to know more about them, you can visit Ogachi um, open source gaming and character initiative. I can place some symbols as well just or elements as well just to show you that it's uh that's it's an average animated project and now i um just draw a rectangle usual rectangle um and i want this to be the container so it has to have the same match the properties of the compositions that i want to load into it then i convert it into a symbol uh, the ideas of importance, of course, uh, content would be a proper ID here. Um, and then I can go into the symbol and delete the rectangle again, because I don't need it anymore. Just need the empty container for the compositions to be loaded into. So back to the stage. Um, this is pretty much about it concerning the composition to be loaded into and now I start creating the buttons. Um, you can create whatever buttons you like if you want to do it on yourself. Um, for now I use rounded corners, rectangles and um, just adjust the color a little bit and uh, introduce some shadow just to set it off from the background to uh, simulate more of a button effect here. Um, of course, I type in some text so that a user would know what he is about to start by clicking the button. So composition number one. Um, yeah, we just set the text into the middle of the button. Um, I select both the elements and uh, I can group them into a div container to uh, ID it as button button number one. I don't have to for this to work, but uh, I like everything to be uh, to be adjusted. And I set the pointer, of course, because it's a clickable item. And now I can pretty much copy paste this button and um, drag it over here. Um, I just have to change the ID to button number two. Uh, and of course the text to composition number two. And that's about it. We've got the layout done for our project here. Uh, the two buttons and the area for the uh, animations to run in. And um, now we can introduce, or no, I'll show you in the finder um, where the project is stored. As you can see here, the uh, average animation project with all the elements and the compositions folder that I included before. So this is where the 
animations or the projects, animate files and the HTML files lie from the compositions that I want to load into and also contains a libs folder which has the uh, downloaded version of the edge comments um, which I will use in this uh, demo. You could also use the CDN version but um, since it's already in the folder I just choose uh, this one. So again it's yapnope to load the edge comments and load the edge comments from this directory. Um, if you go to uh, edgecomments.org or cdn.edgecomments.org, you get uh, the information how to run edge comments as well if you're not familiar with it yet. So it's basic edge comments, uh, every, the average edge comments uh, that I load in here. And I use uh, the center stage feature because I want the composition to run in the browser in the middle and not on the upper left. So now I have to introduce the click event because I want them to be clickable buttons, of course. And uh, here's where I can start the edge comments to load the composition. And uh, now I have to, of course, define which kind of what kind of composition I want or which composition I want to load, and um, as you probably notice, it's the same directory. Uh, so this folder and the HTML file of the composition that I want to run. So pretty simple here. And um, of course, I have to define um, the target and it's the, uh, the stage, sim is for the stage. And uh, I want to choose the symbol with the ID content as the target. So that's pretty much it. Load the composition, welcome HTML into the symbol content. And I can copy this code, just this snippet, because I pretty much use the same for the button number two. Again, it's a click event, paste in the code snippet, only this one line of code. And all I have to change here is, of course, uh, the target composition. So it's not welcome HTML, but edge comments dot HTML. HTML. <laughs> Spelling's important though. And um, yeah, again, it's loaded into content. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let's see if it works in the browser. Hey, ta -da. When I click on the composition number one button, we load the first composition. If I hit composition number two, it's the edge common HTML that is started here. And this is already quite nice and uh, quite impressive, I think. But we still want to go a little bit further. And now we want the outer composition to interact with the inner composition. So basically, we want to be able to change elements of the inner composition like this title from our project so without having to open uh, the composition that we loaded. But first, let me just quick show you uh, the composition that we are about to change so um, so that we, you know what I mean. So we've got this title element here, little text element with animation that has the ID title. And we want that to be changed, but we don't want to change it in here. But we go back to our project or my project in this case, and um, we open the click event again, because here's where uh, the uh, composition is loaded. And now when the composition is loaded, we can add a function to change the element within. So as soon as the uh, composition is loaded, um, there's a parameters comp that will be given to the function so, because we want it to happen when the composition is loaded and um, we want it to be changed in the composition, the element with the ID that I just showed you, the element title, and we want it 
to be changed into a string that we can now define here. So type in any kind of words like welcome to Edge Docs. And uh, yeah, that's it. So if you're familiar with code, you probably understand what we're doing right here. If you don't understand, don't worry, just copy the code, paste it in and uh, you're good to go. So it, it's a bit advanced, but um, more to that on the edge docs and uh, edgecommons.org. So let's see if it works. And there we go. Now we changed the title. So uh, thing about that is um, you can now work with projects and uh, you're able to interact with projects without having to open or alter the projects itself. So uh, this is pretty, really awesome. And uh, let us know what you think and um, visit us on edge docs or edge.comments.org. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more uh, edge comments stuff.